Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Emmy. Having a little download speed test today between AT&T handsets. We've got the Galaxy S2 from AT&T on the left, the iPhone 4S in the center, and on the far right, the Atrix, the original Atrix 4G. Again, the Galaxy S2 and Atrix 4G tout that they run on AT&T's HSPA Plus 4G connectivity. As far as potential, the Galaxy S2 can run up to 21 megabits per second, both the Atrix 4G and iPhone 4S at 14.4 megabits per second. So theoretically, our Galaxy S2 should definitely be the quicker of the two. And you can see I've run the test multiple times. Let's take a look at the results. And what I found was that the iPhone 4S was consistently quicker as far as download than both the Atrix 4G, which runs on AT&T's HSPA Plus, and the Galaxy S2, which runs on AT&T's HSPA Plus. So, not quite sure what that marketing is about from AT&T. Kind of smells like a lot of BS to me. But as you can see here, the results on the speedtest.net, as far as download speeds, the iPhone 4S was definitely the quicker of the three. All right, next up, let's try running a YouTube video on each, kicking off at the same time. I'll try and get all three of them at the same time. And we're off. I think it was pretty close. Let's see if you can spool up the video the quickest. And again, we would assume it would be the iPhone 4S. You're probably going to want to get this on camera. Yeah, I'll try to get this. And it's the Galaxy S2. Second up is the Atrix 4G. You're probably going to want to get this on camera. And last up is the iPhone 4S. So our results here were exactly the opposite of what we saw from our speedtest.net testing. Okay, next up, let's try, I've got Netflix loaded on all of three of these, and let's kick off Steel and see if we can make that work. I'll figure out a good way to do this, and or off. I think I got all three. Yep. And let's see who spools up first, and again, based on download speeds, it should be the iPhone 4S. Again, they're all running off AT&T's HSPA Plus and the Atrix 4G was first. Galaxy S2, excuse me, iPhone 4S was second and the Galaxy S2 was third. And last but not least, we're going to do our browser comparison. Again, all running off of AT&T's network. And I've got them all at the Smartphone Enemy mobile page. I, when you clear the cache and history on the iPhone 4S, it always automatically goes back to the mobile page, which was screwing up the whole process. So we're all going to start from here and load Smartphone Envy. I'm going to try and kick these off. Please excuse me if I look like a spaz as I try and accomplish this. And we're off. Uh, iPhone 4S, I think, got a little bit of an advantage. Maybe not. They're all running, though. I think I did hit the iPhone 4S just a second before I hit the others. But let's see what happens anyway. And again, the iPhone 4S had the much better download speeds more than double or around double everyone else on uh, speedtest.net and neck and neck Galaxy S2 is first not quite sure what's going on with the Atrix 4G seems to be lounging so while our Galaxy S2 I believe had the lowest scores on speedtest.net it seems to have I think it it won uh, and maybe just won this one. iPhone 4S is done. And we're still waiting on the Atrix 4G. So what to take away from this? I think each one won one of the specific testing areas. Uh, and at the same time, the Atrix was the quickest on YouTube. And I, it still, again, hasn't loaded SmartphoneMe.com. So what to take away from this? God only knows. Anyway, this is Craig with Smartphone Envy. I hope this has been helpful. Take care.